Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. What I'm going to talk about is a Victor 10 and the lubes and oils I use to assemble the motors or what you can use. And this is what I used on Uncle Bubba's destroyed Vic 10. And this is a lot of fun. On the center shaft that goes through the spr spring barrels here, I lube that with STP. I also lube the winding crank shaft. I put some in here and I put some in here. Some what? STP. Okay. okay. Then I use a little bit of petroleum jelly on the governor gear right here on the shaft. You just put a little bit in here and it helps it run smoother. That's the only part product I use that Victor said you should use on your machines. Why didn't you just use green grease on that? Green grease is too tacky. Then when I, now we'll start with the spindle shaft. You wind the machine up, and as it's running, you take your finger and you dab green grease right in the middle of the gear, the top of the gear, and the spindle shaft. You keep going like that until you get a lot going around the motor. And then when you're done, you put about three little drops, four drops of STP. Everything works in. On sewing machine oil, you're going to lube the spindle shaft that goes up in here. So you're going to lube it right here. And then on the top side, you're going to... Hit, hit the spindle shaft with a drop. You're going to do a drop here at the bearing, a drop here at the bearing, and a drop on the leather. Then you're going to come in and put a drop here on the spindle shaft that goes through the spring barrels, one down in here, one, one down in here, right here, and then one drop here at the top. This is sewing machine oil. This is sewing machine oil. And that's all you have to do to a motor. And now, when you've done all this work and you've flex toned everything, this should start in about four or five cranks. So there's one, two, three, and it fires up. And what that means is that there's no drag on the motor. You don't have all this tension on it. And then after you get it all rebuilt, you crank it up, let it run, see if you have any adjustments with the governor or anything to do, and it's ready to go. Always let your machine run down after you're finished playing your phonograph. And all we have to do is bolt this to the motor board and balance the turntable and be able to rock and roll. And that's my tip for the day.